Hi, this is Max. I hope you're doing well. Let's just get into it today. I've noticed a few comments after posting the torque turbine video asking how they might participate in my experiments, or as I like to call it, turbing off. And I think that's great because I'm having a good time playing with myself, but I think it will be a lot more fun if other people played with myself. Mm. My wife is gonna love this video. So if that's why you found your way here to this video, great. The first thing you need to do is like the video, then subscribe to the channel. I'm waiting. Okay, well, there's not actually a way for me to tell if you're doing that, so I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> Just kidding, got ya. So you wanna join the turb off. The first thing you need to do is decide how advanced your 3D CAD skills are. If you're like me and you don't have those skills or access to CAD software, you can just send me a JPEG image of your blade's top-down profile. like this. If you send me a blade profile, I'll trace it quickly in my CAD software and extrude it straight up 100 millimeters. 100 millimeters is the maximum allowed blade height, by the way. Oh, and no part of your blade's design is allowed to stick out past the 93 millimeter radius. If you break either of these rules, your score will go into a special leaderboard for people who can't follow rules. Important features that I need in your drawings are the mounting holes, there's two of them. They're six millimeters apart, center to center, and they're perpendicular to the hub's arm. It would also be helpful if you could indicate the side that faces the center of the hub. If you decide to not include these things, you'll be accepting the fact that I'll just make those decisions for you. And if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know I tend to make bad choices and just embrace the jank. After all of my hard work, I'll print three of them and then I'll shove them deep into my windy hole. The next two options are for more advanced blade designs that require more better skills. The first is the three arm hub, which I use for the usual three blade designs. Feel free to import it and use it. The other model I've included is the hub that the assembled turbine is mounted to during testing. This piece here. You can use this design for a turbine that integrates the slip mount directly into its design. If you choose to create a blade using 3D CAD, the acceptable formats are STLs. Oh, did I read that? Yep, just STLs. And for the simple top-down designs, a JPEG is fine. Send your designs to turbinechallenge at gmail.com with the subject turbing off. The email and a link to the models are in the description below. Anyways, I think that about covers everything. I'm sure I missed a lot because being thorough is not my thing. Okay, thanks. Bye.